Pops, welcome back to a new video. So as you can see by the title, we are gonna be doing a hair tutorial or more so I'm just like putting you guys on to a product. It's not new, but it's a new product to me as far as me using it for this style. So um, the new product I'm gonna be telling you guys about is the Mio Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Defying uh, Mousse. And it looks like this and it says withhold texture mousse for type 4 hair now i have used the pomegranate honey like the twisting cream i literally was that was like my uh, for like two years at one point in time it smelled so good it was just oh magic for my hair i love it but i never even knew they had a mousse for this line so when i was um doing my hair given hair video i needed a new mousse i was out of my most death mousse so i just went to target really quick because that's where they sell it but i seen this for you know five dollars cheaper and i said well let me try this you know i like at least the products that i've tried from meal organics i've loved so i said let me go ahead and give this a go and i was using it on my wig and i'm like She's kind of nice. She's real, real nice. It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. So maybe it'll work on my hair. And I never read this part until today where it says for type four hair. I'm like, okay. Earlier this week, I had did a flat twist out on my hair. I did not wash it. It was like old, dirty hair. But I said, well, let me just try this. To be quite honest, I think the results are even better, at least for me, on old hair. So I'm definitely gonna do this again on dirty hair. <laughs> but for this style, this is washed and conditioned. Not deep conditioned, but this is washed and conditioned hair. And I did a flat twist out using that product. I've never, that I can recall, I don't think I've ever done a twist out of any sort using a mousse. I always use a cream. But I will say using this mousse, it gave my hair a nice, nice, flexible hold without any flakes. I had wore the hair for two days actually after and I had no flaking, no stiffness. It, it was a little crunchy the next morning, but a little shake a little shake took care of that, like no problem. But I was very shocked by the results that I got. I have type four hair. I would say majority, like 90% of my head is four A and I have some sections that are like three C. Like my edges are very loose. This area here, I don't even know what that is. It's like damn near a two. Okay, most of my hair is like a type 4A. So if you do want to use me as a reference and you want me to do a wash and go using that, let me know and I'll get that out to y'all. In this video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I do my flat twists out. It's not really a tutorial, like a step-by-step -step on how to do that. Um, I can recommend someone to you guys, Natural 85. She has a magnificent breakdown to um, her flat twist out. Now we're gonna get into this video and if you guys decide that you would like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Um, if you have ever tried this, let me know if there's any other products you want me to try on this channel. Be sure to let me know. I do not mind sprinkling some natural hair content here and there, like I really don't mind. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be starting off again with shampooed and conditioned hair and I put my leave-in conditioner while I'm in the shower and then I plait my hair. So I've already plait my leave-in conditioner. So at this point, I'm just gonna start working on each section, starting with the back section, which is the most difficult. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my um, mousse and I've already separated that section to a smaller section. I'm just gonna apply the mousse and you really don't need that much. I feel like sometimes with the mousse, you feel like you need a generous amount, but you really don't. It really spreads evenly throughout the hair. Um, I apply a little bit at my root just to go ahead and give it a little bit more um, hold. And I'm taking my, you're not a dimming brush, what are you? Tango teaser brush. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna start to flat twist. Again, I will leave a, a more in-depth tutorial that I think is a fantastic step-by-step -step video, um, which is Natural 85. I, I don't do it exactly like hers, but at least the twisting part is similar. But once I get done with the two strand flat twist, I then break it off into a three strand twist. And this is simply because it just gives me more definition. Just think about it. If you do a three strand twist over a two strand twist, you get more definition. So um, I started doing that maybe like a year, a year or two years ago and I've been doing it like that ever since. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the process. I'm just going to continue to flat twist my hair. I don't really have a particular direction on, on which way I twist. I just twist whatever feels natural and yeah. Thank you. 
I get to the top, I start to do my design this way to where I would have one twist going one way and one twist going the other way. And what this does is it allows me to wear my fro in multiple ways um, because depending on which way you twist will determine where your hair falls. So if I twist it in this direction or doing it in this design, I can have the hair fall in my face, I can have the hair fall to the sides, and it'll just be like not a, 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 a what do you call it, like a straight part going down the middle, because I really don't like that look on me. So it just looks more full, more volumized when I do it this way. So yeah, but as far as the back, the back is just all straight down. And then I go ahead and I lay my edges a little bit, and then I just put my bonnet on, and then I go to bed and I come back the next morning. And of course, when you use mousse, the hair dries quicker than when you use a heavier or thicker cream. So I still use an oil to remove my twist because I don't know about you guys, I don't know if it's callus, I think it's callus, I don't know, but I have like my fingers, like the skin on my fingers are very rigid. So even if I didn't wanna use oil, I still have to because my fingers will snag on my hair. I don't know. It's kind of like I get, I don't get blisters. They're not blisters. It's just that, I don't know, my index finger really, my index, my thumb have like callus on them or whatever. Don't know why you guys need to know that. But anyway, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my roots. I do that any style. No matter what style I do, if it's a natural hairstyle, I always blow dry my roots. It's kind of like when you start something and you like the result, you will do it every single time. And the reason why I like to do that is because it just makes my hair fluffy. It makes my hair more bouncy. It makes it more stretched, look longer, make looks bigger. That's my reasoning for doing it. But I'm just taking down my twist. And you see how the hair falls in my face? I love that, love it, love it, love it. But yeah, you guys, this is the finished result of my flat twist out. This style can last I mean, I'm rocking another one right now as we speak, and I did it about five days ago. I'm going to refresh it probably tomorrow, but this style can last long. All I do is put a, a super jumbo bonnet on and go to bed, so that way when I wake up in the morning, it's not smushed. So yeah, that's my um, care routine. It's just putting a bonnet on and going to bed, but that's it for you guys. I'll be back in just a moment to finish out the video. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I love how my hair turned out. Um, I want to see how long this is gonna last. So, cause what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to, I normally wash my hair every week with shampoo. What I'm gonna start doing is, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna shampoo my hair every week. I'm not gonna replace it with co-washing. Like I'm past that part of my hair journey where I'm like, maybe I should co-wash instead of shampooing because shampooing strips all the oils. I don't do all of that. My hair thrives off of dirt. So I don't think I've really ever tried this before. So I'm gonna give it a go because I don't think that I can wear wigs consecutively like I used to. So I don't mind putting a wig on here and there, boo-boo. But I don't want to do my hair all the time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I have everything for you. I have fashion video, lifestyle, vlogs, hair, everything. If you want it, I'm going to give it to you, baby. Okay. Thank you all for watching today's video. And I look forward to seeing you on my next one. So until then, peace. Two fingers.